Hi, it's Deanna from Futures Path Boutique, and today I'm going to show you some antique mother of pearl opera glasses that were made in France. They date from circa 1870 to early 1900. And these are um, what's called um, opera glasses with longinets. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Longinets, longinets. And they have telescoping little handles. I'll show you uh, close up. These little handles can um, be pushed up and closed to be made shorter or longer, depending upon the person's preference. And they fold. You can fold them going across the top. And so they'll go right across the, the top of the glasses to be more compact. So a lady could place them in her pocket. This one happens to be beautiful, beautiful. So let me show you the workmanship close up. You can see the mother of pearl and the gold brass, which is highly detailed. Mother of pearl and adorns these glasses going all the way around. It has a little um, wheel in the middle that helps you to focus better. So you can see things um, closer or further away, depending upon your preference. These are in really good shape, which is surprising for old glasses like these. I'm trying to see if I see the mark, the maker's mark. It's this particular one happens to be, I think it's Lamar, Lamar, Lamir. Oh, no, no, actually, hold on. It's Verna. Okay, so these were made by Verna in Paris, France. And as you can see, I mean, this is absolutely the coolest thing ever. It's like very steampunk very fancy fancy dancy so the next one I'm going to show you is another one from Paris France I'll show you a close-up of the workmanship with the mother of pearl it's similar to the other one except for the mother of pearl is darker on this one and you can see the mother of pearl is more of an amber hue it has the wheel in the middle for the viewfinder and a telescoping handle as you can see so this can be made smaller depending upon uh, the person the person's preference and it can be folded over again to the over the top of the glasses as well so it can be placed in a pocket these are in fantastic fantastic condition and these were made by I can never pronounce French very well so excuse me Adam Wah at a Automair, Automair, Paris. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. If I <laughs> incorrectly pronounced it, I'm sorry. I tend to butcher pronunciations because of my Queen's accent. And please don't write in the comments that I sound like the nanny. Oh Jesus! I'm waiting for that. I know one one of the one of these days, one of you guys are gonna say, "Oh God, you sound like the nanny. You're so annoying." But I can't help it, I was born this way, so. And I'm gonna show you the third, um, the third one out of these, uh, out of this trio here. This one, the handle is missing the piece that goes on the end. Like the other ones have like little buttons on the end. Um, so, you know, it, it's not, it moves, you know, the mother of pearl moves around a little bit. I'm going to look for a little button that can screw into the bottom. But again, this is telescoping handle, uh, mother of pearl and brass. Hold on one second. I just have to make this tighter. There we go. Because it can go, it can pivot like three, 360 degrees also, this little handle. And this one happens to be from, bear with me a moment. I'm trying to read it. It's upside down. Figures. It's oh geez Louise. Paris. No, Iris. Okay, so this is Iris Paris brand. So as you can see, the beautiful mother of pearl, the view on um, the wheel in the middle for the viewfinder, the lovely brass. Um, these are very, very old, again, from 1870 to early 1900. Um, my guess is 1870s, 18 to 1890s. 
and the workmanship was absolutely amazing. These glasses still work. You don't find that very often. It's very steampunk, very Victorian, very cool. And I find it uh, fascinating to see things this old that have still, you know, that still fu are functional. I mean, how many things can you say can still function today? Not very much. You know, like uh, anything, say, we made now, 100 years from now, would be, forget it, it wouldn't even be around. It would be in the trash receptacle. Now, the, um, pa uh, the iris ones, the third one that I showed you with the missing button, came with its original velvet case. And that is pretty cool. You don't generally even find the original cases with these because they're long gone by the time you know you go to purchase them so once again i hope you enjoyed another one of my videos if you like what you see please hit the subscribe button and uh thumbs up if you can have a great day